Okay, in this tutorial we will uh, show you how to make a quick banner ad and insert Flash into HTML documents. First thing I'm going to do is open up Flash and create a new Action Script 3 document. It's Action Script 3. Okay, when that pops open I'm, I can click anywhere on this stage and what I need to do is change in my properties panel. Which again, if you don't have this up, go to your window menu Make sure you have your properties panel showing. And uh, I'm going to change the size to 728 width by 90 height. Okay. And that is the leaderboard size for, uh, for a leaderboard ad. Uh, I have one layer here. I'm in scene one. I'm going to just uh, get my text tool out and uh, click here. I'm just going to type my name and then I can uh, with the properties panel resize this to a better size. Uh, I can kind of drag it down here. Let's check it out. It looks pretty good. I can change the font. I actually kind of like this font, but I can change it if I wanted to. And I'm done. Okay, then I'm going to select my selection tool with V. I'm going to uh, right click on this and say create motion tween. Okay, you'll see now that my layer is a motion tween. It's given me uh, some frames out here. And on this last one, I'm going to right click and say insert keyframe all. So insert keyframe with all aspects recorded. And here I can drag this out then a little ways make it play a little bit longer. I can also uh, hold down oops, and drag just that frame, the keyframe that is, uh, shoot, have to, it's kind of tricky with flash sometimes. A little bit before so it stops for a second on that keyframe then I will uh, move well, actually, that's that's what will be the resting place on frame one. I'll move it off so that it actually comes onto the stage like so. Okay, and that'll be my banner ad. That's all it'll be. Um, okay, so I'm ready to get a little uh, template. If I switch over to Firefox... If you go to this address, clayvernon.com slash flash, you can download leaderboard.zip. I'm going to right click on it, save link, or actually if you just click on it, I think it uh, starts downloading. <coughs> there it goes. Uh, open up my downloads folder. There it is. Um, I have to right click on this and extract it. And that gives me the folder. And now you'll see that I have a leaderboard JPEG and also the template HTML. Okay, so I'm going to open up the template in Dreamweaver. And there it is. And if I uh, now export this banner ad, just go to uh, Export Movie under the File menu of Flash. And I'll call this uh, just banner. I actually uh, threw that into my downloads folder. So I'm going to save it into 
I'm going to save it into the same exact folder that that template.html is existing. Okay, so I'm going to, and it's case sensitive, so I'm going to use all lowercase on the name also. Click save. Okay, I can now uh, quit out of, oops, uh, quit out of Flash if I want to. And uh, like I said, if I open up that template now in, say, Chrome, this is what I get. You see there's the, the path there. And this is the image and that I want to replace. Okay, so I need to go back to Dreamweaver. And I need to replace this leaderboard with my flash file. Uh, and if you take a look at the code, everything that's included in this image tag starts with IMG is what you want to replace. That's on line 16 of this template. Okay, so I want to replace that. How do I do that? Well, and what do I replace it with? Well, if you do a Google search for embed flash in HTML, you will uh, get many results that all say the same thing. So just to show you how easy it is, I haven't even, you know, saved any sort of bookmark or anything. I'm just searching on the web and um, I'll click on one and somewhere around here, here it is, I'll find it. So here's it saying that this is the HTML code that you need. It will start with the word object and you want to select and copy everything within that object code. Then you can paste it in on line 16 of that template. And you need to change the specs. Each object code is going to have the specs in two different places. Okay, so if I zoom in here, you'll see that the width here needs to be 728 by 90. That's what we made our file, 728 by 90. And uh, the name of it was Banner. And same thing here, 728 by 90, named Banner. Okay, now if I save that, and do a live update, you'll see that the banner has popped into that code. Check it out in an actual web browser. If I refresh this, there we go. So now the flash file is playing within HTML. So in a nutshell, that's how you get a flash file into HTML. You just do a Google search for this code, this object code, and uh, that object code is what you need in order for your flash to play within an HTML document.